Hello, today we're continuing with our objective of the metric and the customary system. So, sorry I don't have a nice objective written. This is just a continuation of the last video. So, definition number two. Again, we're starting with definition number two because this is a tag along to the other video. Customary system is a system of measurement in the United States. So this is what we use. This is what you're used to hearing about. Whereas the metric system you may not be as familiar with. Unit of capacity. So the different units of capacity we talk about are gallons, quarts, pints. You hear all these when you're talking about cooking. Units of length is inch, foot, or yard. Unit of weight. So we talk about pound or ton. Vic number five. There are several units of weight, units of length, and units of capacity that you're just going to have to memorize. It's things you must commit to memory. One pound is 16 ounces. So one pound is 16 ounces. One ton is 2,000 pounds. One ton is 2,000 pounds. Units of length. 12 inches is one foot. You guys know that. And even three feet is one yard. You should know that as well. 5,280 feet is one mile. So if you run one mile, you're running 5,280 feet. And units of capacity. One cup is eight ounces. One gallon is four quarts, one quart is two pints, and one pint is two cups. So if you're ever in the kitchen cooking, those will come in handy. Alrighty, you know I'm not the best artist, but just imagine. So this is called the gallon man, and the gallon man is used to help you remember those units of capacity that are hard to commit to memory. So you can draw this to kind of help you remember those if you can't exactly stick them. All right, so this is one gallon, and how many quarts are in a gallon? Well, there are one, two, three, four quarts in a gallon. How many pints are in a quart? How many pints are in a quart? Well, there are two pints in every quart. How many cups are in a pint? Well, two cups are in every pint. You could also use it this way. Well, there's four quarts in a gallon. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pints in a gallon. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen cups in a gallon. So you can use this to manipulate to see how many pints and cups and quarts are in gallons and quarts and cups and pints. So that's the gallon man. Another way is to draw a big G. Well, in one gallon, there are four quarts. So I drew my four Q's, because there's four quarts. And then each quart has two pints. So one quart has two pints, so there's two P's in every quart. And every pint has two cups, so there's two C's in every P. You don't have to commit these to memory, but these are just you know ways to help you remember um, cu customary units. Vic number six. To change to larger units within the customary system, we multiply. And Vic number seven, to change to smaller units within the customary system, we divide. So to go larger, you multiply. To go smaller, you divide. All right, a few examples. We're going from eight yards equals blank feet. So eight yards equals blank feet. We know that we are going here from a larger unit to a smaller unit because yards is bigger than feet. Because we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, we are going to multiply. So what do you know about feet and yards? Well, you know that three yards equals one foot. So if you do eight times three, you get 24 feet. So there are 24 feet is equal to eight yards. Number two, uh, seven, 92 ounces to one pound. Well, here you know you're going from a smaller to a larger. So because you're going from smaller to larger, you know that you are going to need to divide. So 92 divided by what? Well, how many ounces are in a pound? We know that 16 ounces are in one pound. So we do 92 divided by 16. And when you do 92 divided by 16, you're going to get 5.75 pounds. So 92 ounces is the same as 5.75 pounds. Number eight, 4.4 gallons equals blank quarts. Well, we know we're going from a larger to a smaller. 
So because we're going from larger to smaller, we are going to multiply. We know that there are four quarts in one gallon. So for every one gallon, there are four quarts. So we're going to multiply four times four, 4.4 4 times four, and when you do that, you get 17.6 quarts. 16 cups to quarts. We know we're going from small to large. Because we're going from small to large, we're going to divide. We also know in a quart, so in one quart, you have four cups. So one quart is four cups. So 16 divided by four gives us four quarts. So four quarts is the same as 16 cups. And last but not least, 48 feet. We're going from feet to inches, so large to small. Because we're going to lar from large to small, we're going to multiply. And because we're multiplying, we need to figure out in one foot is 12 inches. So we know 48 feet times 12. So we know that 48 times 12 is 576 inches. So as you can see, when we are converting from large to small, we multiply, and from smaller units to larger units, we divide.